sing that shit. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> if you are not relaxed, I won't be relaxed. <laughs> she wastes my time all the time like this. <laughs> always. I'm always waiting. Hi. My name is Tohida Babagana. <laughs> Why are you laughing already? It's my name. We're getting married. So she forced us to do this video. I'm here against my will. But I'll do that. Anyway, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's compromise they said. He actually wants to be here. As you can see, he's like he's the only one talking. So clearly he's enjoying the attention that he's getting from the camera. Wait. This was Fatima's idea, but in general we are here because he struggled. He struggled. Struck gold. Oh, yeah. I think he said I like, struggled. I was like, struggled. Oh, what? Struggled. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> along with the photo shoot and this, I was just sort of dragged along. It wasn't as awkward as I thought it would be. Or was that me? Like, it was awkward because we don't take pictures, but it was not as awkward as I thought it would be. Um, I found it really strange. In all the behind the scenes pictures that our friends took, He's not smiling. Like he looks like he was forced to be at the photo shoot. I think I carried the photo shoot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He carried. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But I think I did. You tried, Sha. She slid into my DMs. No, I did not slide into his DMs. I met her when I was like seven. Right? I met her in school. She was round. And she, she used to wear a skirt by her chest. But I still, I, you know, I fell in love with her like that. That's real no, love. That's kind of cute. That's real love. That's kind of cute, but no, I, I, I met her at her worst. Whoa. Now I have her at her best. Whoa. So it's all right. We've been along the world. It's okay. We're here now. I updated my LinkedIn. Oh. <laughs> and he followed me on every social media platform. Whoa, whoa, whoa. he saw the potential. Whoa. So I heard... <laughs> from one of my cousins like a year before we started talking that there's a girl that was interested in me that but didn't want to speak to me <laughs> that was false. so my cousin gave me her number but i never texted her he like he was planning to talk to me for over a year before he actually started talking to me i found that out like two months ago from one of his cousins that's a lie <laughs> tell, tell, tell them your one <laughs> i feel like there's, there's nothing really i can say to defend myself <laughs> Because almost everyone that's probably going to watch this video probably knows what he's talking about. But anyway, we met in primary school, primary three actually. And yeah, I think we were always kind of cool when we met. I wouldn't really say I liked him. I just thought he was cool. She was borrowing me all of her pencils. I don't remember that. That's false information. <laughs> now he doesn't want to talk. He's suddenly silent. He actually made the first move. You gave me all Wait, should I Should I just be honest? Let me be honest. He made the first move, but like years down the line, when we tried to like, when we came, well, there's a whole story behind that, but that's for another day. But when made we rekindled- Do you mean that the beginning of our relationship? You asked or, for my number. <laughs> no. And I have proof. You know when someone just finds a reason to speak to you? So he kept doing that. And then eventually we did start talking and I didn't feel the need to end the conversation. Because it was quite obvious he was very interested in it. I said happy birthday to her, and then she said happy birthday to me, and then she just couldn't stop talking. I so couldn't stop talking. That's how we ended up we, here. we have the messages. I kept trying to end the conversation <laughs> because I was aware that they had told him I liked him, even though I did not know anything about him. So it is true that. Okay. No, it was, it's true that they lied to you, but I knew it was not true. <laughs> so I was trying to like, end the conversation, and he would find every reason to message me again. I was sleeping, right? I was about to sleep. <laughs> and I got a message from her. She was like, Ahmed, was it my government name? I like, was your number. <laughs> so I gave it to her and she never called me. So I, I met her and I was like, you took my number and you never called. Why? She was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll take you out to eat. And then, you know, things I, happened. It didn't really happen like that. 
like he's kind of some 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 of his some of the things he said are facts but he didn't add the fact the part that we met like a few times before that in person and every time we met he always complained that i never looked for him or i never asked for his number or i never called him so obviously i decided okay he's my friend i've known him since i was in primary school let me just message him and ask for his number so you see that part he missed so i didn't really ask for his number based on i liked him it was just because he kept on begging me to look for him so yeah bet- that's what happened that's what happened she can have that she can have that stressful but i think i don't think stressful for him i think what's stressful for no, him no, no, no. is house apparently it's in a week <laughs> <laughs> apparently <laughs> Yeah, but wedding planning hasn't been easy, honestly. It's very stressful. And especially with like choosing vendors, like people to go with, what to have at your event and stuff like that. It hasn't been easy. But I would say he's had the easy way out. All he's had to worry about is a house and not the wedding That's planning. Easy. Well, okay, maybe it's not easy. Those is like a two hour event. Okay, fair enough. living going, there, you know. Fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, it's been okay so far. Okay, we painted the house brown, but it looks pink. So that's quite stressful. But other than that, everything can I, can she I say says, something else that's stressful for him? Mm. He woke up one night and his biggest worry was how he's going to get a new coat uh, hanger. And if he's not getting a new coat hanger, how he's going to move his coat hanger from his current room to the house we're moving to. That was his biggest <laughs> issue. That was what was keeping him up at, kept night, me up at night some weeks ago. Kept me up Just at night. FYI, those are the kind of things that bother him. And apparently it's in a week. Yeah, you said that already. <laughs> I would say for me, the one thing that probably covers everything, the word I would probably use is consistency. Um, I think from when we started dating, after the period of maybe me not necessarily knowing where it was going, he's been very consistent. He's been consistent in the way that he loves me and the way that he cares for me and my family, which is very important to me. I've said to him and I've said to my friends that because of how consistent he is and how he treats me, if he didn't tell me he loved me ever again, I would still know. And I wouldn't doubt it either because of the way he treats me. So even without saying it, I know. And I'm confident in it. I think there's there's something that she said to me at the beginning of a relationship that I thought sort of encapsulates what Tahida is to me. You can't even pronounce my name properly. Tahida. <laughs> Cut. Tahida. I need to pronounce properly. <clears throat> she said that I looked like someone that maybe hadn't been taken care of and she wants to take care of my heart. Oh, and nice. that's... Yes, she did. Are you going to deny it? <laughs> but anyway, she said that and that really melted my heart and she cares for me so much in everything that I do and she's always there for me. I think that's my favorite thing about her. Can he go first? Okay. Why now? Yeah, because I don't know. Just go first. You just read my answer. How? I was going to say you're always, you know, you know what to say. I mean, that's always, not. Like, then, what's your favorite thing about me? Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> no, because it's so rolling. Um, my favorite thing mm-hmm. about you. Wow, <laughs> this is not how I intended this video. There are so many things. Can I can I go first? Uh-huh. Okay, I'll just I'll just go ahead. Since he, I'll open the floor. My favorite thing about him is. Okay. Yes. <laughs> my, no, no, I know. No, I know. It's, it's, it's actually quite easy because I know the first thing that comes to mind. Just that a few things come to my head, but I'll just pick one. I use that as. My favorite way. thing about him is how much he cares about me, and how he shows that he cares about me because he. I don't know how to explain it, but you know when you always feel like someone puts you first and someone thinks about you and someone is considering your feelings, even though I chose the shoes for the photo shoot today and he didn't wear them, but that's enough, that's something else entirely. But anyway, he puts me first in like almost everything and he just cares about me and I can genuinely feel that he cares about me because he's constantly looking for things that he can do for me and ways that he can make my life easier. So yeah, I think that's one thing I love about him. The fact that he cares about me even more sometimes than I care about myself. Wow. So you can try and talk about that. You can try. Touch my heart. Well, okay, so now you can. I kind of gave you. Mm. 
other than the fact that she's my best friend, right? I think she's always so calm. I'm a lot to handle. I like, she she tells me sometimes, but then she's always so cool about it. Like she, I don't know. She's so sweet all the time. I don't know. I can't put it in words, but she knows. She knows how I feel. You don't know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. I got you. <laughs> She's so indecisive. She is so, 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 so indecisive. I told her yesterday. That's all. Everything else, she's, she's perfect. But she's so indecisive. There are lots of things. It's not just one. What don't I like? No, but it's like tiny things. Um, She's always late. He looks on my trouble a lot. Like, I know how people see that, like, as an acute thing. Okay, yeah, he's looking on my trouble. But sometimes, he knows sometimes he annoys me when he does the certain things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate anything about him. Okay. Um, but? I would say the one thing that kind of gets annoying is Habib has to have, everything has to be logical. Like, everything has to be black and white. Like, you have to explain why like there has to be a reason so for example taking pre-wedding pictures or like a first dance no i do not have like a 10 page powerpoint presentation on what we're going to do for this but some things you know just relax and just do because so i think that's it like for him he's very black and white when we go out you need to start deciding what you want to eat because that just like yeah that that just but why can't you order for in. me because like what do you want to eat what's the oh, point of anything. dating marrying like, what's the point if you can't make difficult decisions for me no but then what's anything like so nothing is anything when i'm craving something i will say i am craving something but if i genuinely feel like eating anything i eat a lot so if i feel like eating anything i just say anything yeah so that drives you nuts i think it would be amazing because you'll be like I said, with my best friend all the time. I don't have to bring her home. Uh, her mom is always saying we're late. Where is she? You're not married yet, you know? So I think spending all your time with your best friend will be, will be nice. I'm looking forward to that. And you? <laughs> that won't be okay. Working late nights. <laughs> oh yeah, that as well. <laughs> no, 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 not that kind of work. Not that kind of work. No, 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 not that kind of work. Actual like office work, you know. I think it'd just be chilled. Um, I'm very easygoing, so I think it'll be. So me, I'm not easygoing. You are easygoing. Bring the easygoing. Oh, yeah, bring You're you're really showing that you're not easygoing now, Shad. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think it should be easygoing. It should be good. I think, I don't know, in a weird way, it's like, well, I don't know about him, but it's almost like when you waited, you waited your whole life to experience something, and I just can't believe that this is what I get to experience that with. And so it's like, I can't wait for everything. Like, I can't wait for all our other first, like our first child, our first everything, basically. So basically, that's what I can't wait for. I can't wait for our first everything because already it's like I can't believe that this is my life and this is our life together. So I can't imagine how magical it would be to actually start this. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. I learned from the best. Thank you. So I actually made everyone come back or I made him come back so that I could do this part because for my whole life I had something I wanted to say and I just think I should say it. So in the beginning of when we came back to start talking, we have a friend called Imran Alej Krenshi and Imran was basically the genesis of us rekindling what we have now and I just feel like we have to have him in some way here to celebrate our love. And I wouldn't be doing what he did for us justice if I didn't mention him in this. 
so honestly i just feel like everyone that listens to this or everyone that watches this video every time you watch it or every time you see it can you just pray for him and allegedly and let's say Huta. and yeah we love you imran we love you very very much and the other side of what i wanted to say that i didn't get to say during our interview was both like four of us like well all of us our dads aren't here like our dads are all later and stuff like that so i think it's really i don't know it says a lot about the women who raised us that all of us are such amazing people i'm including myself in that because i've heard that i'm amazing so i think it says a lot about all of us that were such amazing people and that we were able to all get here and be these people at this point in our lives and that we all found each other and in some way we never lacked anything all of us yes our dads are here allergic and so but our mothers have stood up and taken that um taken taken that taken that space and both of them both habib and ahmed i don't know how to put it but for the bits that i remember of my dad i feel like both of them fill those shoes pretty well and i'm going to cry now but anyway i think they fill those shoes pretty well and so alhamdulillah thank you all for coming thank you all for listening okay yeah. Yes. So thank you for <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for listening. We love you all and hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye. 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 <laughs>